Hey, it's Brandon Fisher here. And in today's video, what I wanted to do is to go over how to create a playlist inside of Live Pigeon. So let's get into this. So I'm inside the incubator and I'm gonna go up to the top here and I'm gonna go ahead and click Create Playlist. After that, you'll see that there is a section now up at the top here that says Playlist. And down below is all of my videos that I have inside of my incubator. So you can continue to add videos inside of your incubator and then keep adding those to your video playlist. So what I'm gonna end up doing now is I'm gonna go ahead and click on this empty playlist. And it says that my playlist is empty. Now what I'm gonna end up doing is up at the top here, I'm gonna go ahead and click add video. And for this, I'm gonna actually click a bunch of videos inside that are vertical. Um, so that I have all my vertical videos that are going to end up in one playlist and then I'm going to click select. So now that I have added the videos inside of my playlist, I can actually click this little hamburger here and I can move them around. So let's say I want to move this one up or let's say I want this one to be at the very top. I can just click and drag them around. It's really easy to do. Uh, what else is nice, you can see here that it, we have the duration of each video independently. And then over here, we have the total duration. And as long as your total duration is under what your actual plan size is, then you can go live with your playlist as long as, again, it, it, it's all dependent upon the plan that you chose inside of Live Pigeon. If you want to give your playlist a different name, you can go ahead and click here and edit this. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. So now you can see that we have three videos, the date it was created, how long it is. So if you wanted to add more videos, you could. Uh, you can rearrange them. Another thing I wanted to point out is if you click the three dots here, I can choose to independently view the videos to make sure I have the correct one. Um, I can actually edit a video inside a live pigeon, which is actually a really cool feature. And another thing that we could do is duplicate it. And so let me see if I can show you a pretty good example of this. So like, let's say on this brick video, let's go ahead and duplicate it. And then let's go ahead and move it underneath. I can click on the three dots here and I can click edit video. It's going to bring up this pane here, which will allow me to set in and out points based off of, you know, I don't know, let's say I only wanted to be able to use like the first like 34 seconds of this clip. And so uh, I learned about this strategy through the Dream 100 book. So anyway, I can actually slide the playhead to the point that I want to edit and it'll update. So let's say I want to do it right before this overhead camera and then I could go ahead and save that edit. Then if I come back here, you'll see that the very first one you can see that this is just one minute and 13 seconds when it used to be eight minutes. And let's say I come here, I can also edit this one. And let's just say I wanted to pick up the end of the video. And now if I click save and edit, and I'm gonna go ahead and go back. And now you can see that I have two clips, one that's uh, one minute, 13 seconds, and another that's just 39 seconds. And then you can see what that, how that changed the total duration of time. So why you might wanna edit is if you're trying to keep your videos inside of the time limit that you have set inside a live pigeon, or let's say you just wanted to be able to do a simple edit without having to re-upload your videos. You can do that inside of the playlist. And this is a really cool feature. It's kind of hidden. Uh, it's not something that's uh, you know necessarily easily accessible, but it's still a cool feature and I wanted to make sure that you knew how to do it. Once your videos are all organized in here and ready to go, you can go ahead and click go live now and go through the flow of putting in your title and description, tell us where you want it to go, and then we're gonna go ahead and send this out, uh, which is pretty cool. So one other thing I wanted to point out, at the bottom we have our support page. Uh, this will have support articles and things like that. So feel free to check that out. 
If you want, you can also reach out to our support at Live Pigeon email address, or we have our phone number at the bottom here. We also even have a chat window. Those are all the ways that we have that you can get a hold of us. And again, we're just super excited that you're here. We can't wait for you to get started. So go ahead, jump into Live Pigeon and start editing your videos. And that's it for this video. Until next time.